Welcome to Head, Heart, and Gut, an Introduction to Energy Work. This recording is part of the Contemplative Builder audio series, and I am Chuck Dunning, an author, advocate, facilitator, trainer, and consultant in contemplative practice, mentoring, and leadership. This series and much of my other work is focused on the development of contemplative practice within the context of speculative masonry. Persons who are not speculative masons are welcome to make use of this series, but may find it referencing Masonic ritual experiences, symbols, and concepts without explanation. These recordings are provided to help listeners experience various contemplative methods and states of consciousness. It is hoped listeners eventually learn to practice those methods and enter those states without the assistance of recordings. Because this recording is designed to facilitate changes in consciousness, you should not listen to it while operating a motor vehicle or other machinery or performing any other task that requires your attention to maintain safety for yourself or others. This particular recording is meant to provide a basic experience of activating and integrating the subtle energies that connect and flow through both mind and body. Such energies have been intentionally engaged by various systems and traditions throughout history, with different forms of symbolism and associations of different metaphysical concepts, divine attributes, spiritual beings, elements of nature, states of consciousness, ways of knowing, emotions, virtues, vices, and physiological processes. Systems of working with these energies include the chakras of yoga, Tantra, the middle pillar work of Hermetic Kabbalah, Reiki, and Qigong. The concept of these energies is not just theoretical and abstract. In everyday experience, we acknowledge the concrete reality of such energies and their associations with different places and effects in our bodies when we say things like, that puts a lump in my throat, that hurts my heart, or it warms my heart. That makes me sick to my stomach. That makes my head spin. Or it sends shivers up and down my spine, and so on. Of course, sometimes these are just symbolic words. Yet we also know those words refer to things we have actually felt. That there is indeed literal truth to them. Becoming more conscious of and intentional with these energies and working to integrate them into greater harmony with each other is a kind of inner work that produces significant benefits to both mind and body. In the following exercise, we will be focusing on the energies of head, heart, and gut. Now, if you have not already done so, Take a moment to turn off any phones or other things that might disturb your meditation. While you do so, consider that the possibility for external distractions almost always remains a part of meditative practice. Try to cultivate an attitude that distractions are simply opportunities to gently and calmly refocus on the meditation, which is good meditative practice itself. Now, Settle into a comfortable position that you can maintain without moving until the contemplative activity has finished. Your spine should be relatively straight, with no twist or strain in your neck or back. Closing your eyes is recommended. However, if you prefer not to close them, then allow your eyes to relax and steadily gaze upon some point directly in front of you. If you wish, this would be a fitting moment to invoke spiritual assistance in whatever way is meaningful to you. Now slowly take in a deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, Hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining. And then pause, 
pause, pause. Slowly take in a second deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a third deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Now inhale and let your body breathe in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Tend to the sensation of the earth's gravity pulling down on your body. Feel it pulling your feet against the floor. Feel the gravity pulling down in your calves and shins. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your thighs and buttocks, pulling you into your seat. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your hips, belly, and lower back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your rib cage, chest, and upper back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture. And let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful, relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your shoulders and neck. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation.
Feel the gravity pulling down in your jaw, your tongue, around your mouth, and in your cheeks. Feel the gravity pulling down around your eyes and in your brow. Feel the gravity pulling down in your scalp, on the top of your head, around the sides, and down the back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Now feel the gravity pulling down from the top of your head all the way through every part of your body down to the soles of your feet. If you notice any unnecessary tension anywhere, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Turn your attention back to your breath, flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. You simply observe it flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. You can go into an even deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation by silently marking the breath with the word in as you inhale and out as you exhale. In, out. Just continue observing the breath flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm, as you continue silently repeating, in, out. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Let go of marking the breath with the words in and out. And now with full yet gentle breaths, imagine inhaling energy into your head from the cosmos around you to form a sphere of brilliant white light about the size of a tennis ball in the center of your brain. Keep breathing that energy into the sphere in your head, trying to see it shining very brightly and imagining the feelings it can stimulate in your head. Try to establish and experience the presence of this sphere of light as vividly as possible. As you breathe, 
it may help to silently repeat to yourself a short statement like, The Light of the Head. Now relax to simply observe this energy center connected with the ways of being and knowing that we associate with the head. For a moment, sit in contemplation of those ways of being and knowing, what it means to be in your head, to know with your head. What are the virtuous ways of using your head? What are the unhealthy extremes associated with the head? In a moment, you will form a second sphere that you see and feel at your heart using the same method as before. Now, with a full yet gentle breath, imagine inhaling energy into your chest from the cosmos around you to form a sphere of brilliant white light about the size of a tennis ball at your heart. Keep breathing that energy into the sphere at your heart, trying to see it shining very brightly and imagining the feelings it can stimulate in your chest. Try to establish and experience the presence of this sphere of light as vividly as possible. As you breathe, it may help to silently repeat to yourself a short statement like, The Light of the Heart. Now relax to simply observe this energy center connected with the ways of being and knowing that we associate with the heart. For a moment, sit in contemplation of those ways of being and knowing. What it means to be in your heart. To know with your heart. What are the virtuous ways of using your heart? What are the unhealthy extremes associated with the heart?
In a moment, you will form a third sphere that you see and feel in your gut, using the same method as before. Now, with full yet gentle breaths, imagine inhaling energy into your lower abdomen, near your navel, from the cosmos around you to form a sphere of brilliant white light about the size of a tennis ball in your gut. Keep breathing that energy into the sphere in your gut, trying to see it shining very brightly and imagining the feelings it can stimulate in your lower abdomen. Try to establish and experience the presence of this sphere of light as vividly as possible. As you breathe, it may help to silently repeat to yourself a short statement like, The Light of the Gut. Now relax to simply observe this energy center connected with the ways of being and knowing that we associate with the gut. For a moment, sit in contemplation of those ways of being and knowing. What it means to be in your gut. To know with your gut. What are the virtuous ways of using your gut? What are the unhealthy extremes associated with the gut? Now recall all three spheres of light in your body, head, heart, and gut. In a moment, you will begin an exchange of energies between them that brings them into greater connection and integration with each other. In order to do so, with a full yet gentle inhalation, you will draw a beam of light down from the head sphere into the heart sphere. And then, as you exhale, you will send a beam of light down from the heart sphere into the gut sphere. Then, as you inhale again, you draw light up from the gut sphere into the heart sphere and then exhale light from the heart sphere up to the head sphere. Now just keep repeating the cycle with full yet gentle breaths, inhaling from the head to the heart, exhaling from the heart to the gut, inhaling from the gut to the heart, exhaling from the heart to the head.
Now stop moving the energy with your breath and simply sit in awareness of these three spheres of light, seeing and feeling them as clearly as possible. You might find it necessary to focus on only one or two at a time, but try to experience all three simultaneously as you sit quietly and breathe in a peaceful, natural rhythm. Know that the more often you practice this meditation, the more vivid the energy centers become and the more vivid the movement of energy between them. After the meditation, as you go through the ordinary events of your life, from time to time, try to recall each of these three spheres and consider how they might connect with the things you are experiencing, thinking, feeling, and doing. Now let go of the imagery and begin ending the meditation by attending to the sensations of your body. Feel the gravity pulling you down into the seat and feel your feet being pulled against the floor. Feel the air on your skin, the breath flowing in and out. Hear what you hear. Smell what you smell. And taste what you taste. When you are ready, open your eyes and see what you see. The meditation has ended. Feel free to move and stretch your limbs. Having completed the activity, it is highly recommended that you take a few minutes to reflect on your experience, perhaps even writing down some notes for future reference. Observe your thoughts, emotions, and physical feelings, and how they might differ from before you began the activity. To what extent were you able to relax and follow instructions with full awareness. What was easy about it? What was challenging? What was most meaningful and why? How might repeated use of this activity with or without the recording be helpful to you? What additional studies or research might be useful? Thank you for participating in Head, Heart, and Gut, an introduction to energy work. Once again, my name is Chuck Dunning. If you want to learn more about the Contemplative Builder audio series, my writings, or my presentations and workshops, then please visit chuckdunning.com. Until next time, I wish you greater wholeness and harmony.